opaque in that shadow. And then along the top of the back there's also some darkness and that's probably enough for that one. Um, but having said that, before we move on to this last animal, let's um, let's make these legs which are peeking through. Very dark. And then there is also uh, another cast shadow kind of coming from the tip of this ear down along there. And I haven't got the shape of those shadows quite right, but again, it's a first step towards getting where getting towards where we want to be so on to this last steer then let's block in that ear scumble in a little bit of shadow there and that went a little bit wild not quite what I wanted to do and then from the other ear there's a curved shadow there And then again from behind the ear there's quite a nice shaped shadow there a line of shadow going along the I guess that's a big muscle in the neck it's a fairly dark line of shadow along there underneath the the jaw and then we come down to the front of the chest here And again, this leg is pretty dark. And the other leg, which is just peeking into frame, uh, isn't quite as dark actually. It's dark on the edges, but it's not, uh, it is catching a little bit of light. And the front of the chest here is very dark. And then if we come back up to the top of the animal, there's a dark bit of shadow down there as well. Okay, so I've mapped now, I've basically created a little shadow map. Uh, so and that started to create a se some sense of three dimensions. And it, the, the much higher contrast I've got going on is starting to make the animals stand out from the background. But obviously, you know, I need to do quite a bit more. And the first step of that quite a bit more to do is to take some pure ultramarine blue. And this is naturally, you know, a little bit translucent, so I don't have to add much water really. And I'm going to use that to block in the rest of these animals. So as I, you know, as I apply this, obviously it's darkening the, the white of the paper, but I can also drag it over the, the shadow colour that I just put down. Um, and that's going to further darken the first layer of paint, but it's also going to soften the transition between the light and the dark. So I'm both building up a depth of tone in the shadow and kind of automatically softening the transitions within each of the steer. You know, and again, I can keep my brush strokes moving in the, the right general direction because when you apply the paint in a thin way with, with the flat brush, you get all these little 